98-year-old loved one with a face full of bruises. They say these injuries happen inside of a rehabilitation center. And now the concern that nothing is being done about it. Our Devin Clark is live this evening in Southeast Houston with that story you'll see only on two. Devin? Danielle, the family I spoke to was in tears describing the injuries that they say their elderly loved ones suffered here at this rehab facility. They say what's even worse is they feel helpless and they're fearful it could happen again. This is the way Francis Garcia likes to imagine her 98-year-old mother, Ramona Rodriguez, smiling, upbeat, and happy. But it's these images that are now stuck in loved ones' minds. They abuse her. There's no doubt about it. You can remember say Rodriguez had been living here at the Afton Oaks Healthcare and Rehabilitation Center for about three years. But last week, on January 15th, something happened that would land her in the hospital days later. I went in and she was facing towards the window. And um, I got closer to her and I could see all, you know, black, black, all her little face. Garcia says the explanation Afton Oaks officials gave is not adding up. That she fell. She yeah. was sitting watching TV and she just falls. And then the next day, they say she fell again from her bed. Garcia says she hasn't had much communication with her sister, who is their mother's power of attorney. Because of that, she hasn't been able to access medical records to determine the extent of her mother's injuries, though she fears they are serious. She was Garcia's wishes. Her mother was released from the hospital and sent back to Afton Oaks. With Rodriguez left nonverbal since the injuries, the family is hoping someone else speaks up.